Hey guys, what's going on? Mac here, bringing you a brand new episode where today we are playing Call of Duty, but we are here to really talk about what's been going on in the past week. Obviously, with the new Call of Duty uh, stuff coming out and all that sort of things, like, there's been a lot of talk about, um, obviously, the leak that was on Twitter of the PlayStation Store, sorry, it was leaked onto the PlayStation Store, and everyone went from there that the game is going to be called Infinite Warfare. So, a lot of talks been going on around about that, and um, a, lo a lot of uh, screenshots and photos and all that sort of stuff have been released of the of, of like the posters and all the commercial usage and all that, like for EB Games and all that sort of stuff. Um, and they've been released, and they're saying that the game is going to be due for release on the 4th of the 11th, and yes, it is going to be called Infinite Warfare. Now, don't get me wrong, all this is subject to change. Like, do you not get me wrong? Nothing has come out from uh, Treyarch, uh, not Treyarch, Infinity Ward or Activision or anything at the time that I'm recording this video. Um, so, nothing has been announced fully yet. Obviously, it's all speculation at the moment. And it will be till obviously, Activision come out and say, this, yes, this is what's going to happen. But, all oh, that was... I don't have a second weapon, I thought I did. But that was absolutely shocking. Um, but yeah, obviously nothing will be finalised to Activision say what's actually happening. Obviously a lot will be announced at E3, but this time last year they announced Black Ops 3, so there's no surprise that they're actually extremely close to uh, the release date of um, uh, in... Infinity, not Infinity, what? Infinite, Infinite Warfare. Oh, like every time I see the uh, title, I always think of uh, Infinite uh, Infinity Ward instead of in Infinite Warfare. So it will, it's going to be hard for me to uh, change from from what it's what I'm saying. But they are saying that it's going to be far far in the future, um, as they've been talking about like a title set in the far far future, like. The fact that um, I was watching Ruffle Waffles, which is where I've uh, got my information from so far, um, about that it will make Black Ops 3 look like it was in the Stone Age. So if it's go they're going that far into the future, um, who knows what co what kind of stuff can be involved with it. So it'll be extremely exciting to obviously watch the development of all the press stuff. And it'd be good if I could actually shoot. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be extremely exciting, obviously, to see E3 and all that sort of stuff, like always. And yeah, it's always very interesting to see, like, all the... Oh, come on, that was so close. But yeah, now we're going 16-6, so we're actually not doing too bad in this gameplay. Um, let's jump up here. Oh, I know it's sort of camping, but there's been a guy over there a lot of the time. Oh, hello. Where is he? I thought, I thought he was up there. Okay, or not. Or nah. That's right, just, just casually shoot him through the uh, wall. I did see some. I thought I saw someone, but then I d thought I didn't see someone. My webcam has probably been off this whole time. I just realised it wasn't centred. It's probably still not centred. There we go. It's probably as close as I'm going to get right now. But jeez. Um... Yeah. Wow, wow. Wow. Learn to shoot. Jeez, I can't shoot today. Seriously. <laughs> this is only my second game for the last few weeks too, so please forgive me for on that just that fact alone. But it'll be good to see like if they do go to a futuristic thing, I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of the exosuits or the jump packs and all that sort of stuff's gonna be staying in the game. Um which has become a very big mechanic of like Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare. Um which they're two mechanics that I extremely like, so personally I think it's a good thing that they're staying in. Plus uplink that means uplink will still be in the uh esports, so it'll be because it's my favourite esport to watch is Oh, 
That was a good kill, actually. <laughs> he was just pulling out his ripper. So, 20 on and 8, and we're running with the sniper. We didn't get a lot of kills straight off the bat with... There's just a lot of people not paying attention and not looking around the corners. But thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, none of that information is, as of yet, um, real. Uh, it could, like, it possibly could be real, it could be false. So, uh, we'll soon find out. And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the video. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.